Good morning and welcome family, students, faculty and staff to the Eastern Mennonite Elementary School graduation. We're glad you're here. Would you please stand and I'm going to call Megan and Stephen Keith Holland up front to lead us. They are parents of Julia uh, to lead us in the invocation. Good morning. Congratulations to the rising middle schoolers and families and teachers. As we prepare to hear the students' reflections on their elementary school experiences and celebrate this occasion, we ask you to join us in a moment of prayer and thanksgiving. God of hope and love, we thank you for this time of celebration with family and friends. Your spirit of wisdom has empowered these students with curiosity and a love for learning. We are grateful for the care, attention, and dedication of the faculty, staff, and administrators to fostering a community of play, discovery, creativity, understanding, and peace. We celebrate and thank you for this intellectually and socially nourishing environment. Particularly in times of challenges and uncertainty, we know that these students are members of a supportive and uplifting community. While we celebrate the accomplishments of today, we recognize that the transition to middle school and beyond will present new challenges as well as opportunities. May your grace cover our anxieties, afford us strength, and prepare us to exemplify peace, service, and gratitude in all of our endeavors. We thank you for the laughter, joy, and friendships forged among these students and among our families. As we look forward to hearing their reflections, we celebrate their courage and wisdom. Thank you for leading them in their learning. May they all feel proud of their accomplishments and may today, this day that you have made, be a brightly burning memory for all of us. In your name, amen. Thank you, Megan and Keith. This is a very exciting day for all of us as we look forward to the end of the school year and anticipate our summer adventures with our families. From the very first year at EMES, the partnership we've had with parents has been very important to us. And this has never been so true as in these past few years. Our parent reps and leadership team met diligently all year long helping us process many things and bringing important ideas and questions to our attention. You and our families have supported your children and our faculty throughout the year. This makes a difference in a school community when home and school work together, so I thank you. I also want to thank our fantastic faculty. I, when I wrote that last evening, I, it came out as fantasy faculty, and I think they are a fantasy faculty, but anyway, fantastic faculty for knowing each student well, supporting them, being flexible, asking for help when needed, for being honest, and for taking care of each other. You have made it, and you deserve a rest. Thank you for making my job very rewarding and for being people that I want to spend my days with. And students, I thank you too. Thank you for coming to school each day to learn. Thank you for asking great questions for being great thinkers, and for saying hello to me each morning, and for being positive, positive about coming to school. I love when you wave at me through my office window, when you write me notes, and when you hand me special rocks or flowers, and when you show me kindness. You have lifted me up this year and I, when I was exhausted. You deserve a rest too. And now, I'm going to call on Erica Gosho, fifth grade teacher, to share some words about our graduates and introduce them as well. So, Erica. Hi. <laughs> we made it another year. Feels really good to be in this space at this time. Jasmina. You are dependable and gentle. 
You are an avid and fluent reader, always with a book close by. Taking care of others and trying to understand their needs is something I see you do every day. You have exceptional manners and a kind heart, always willing to help out. Your classmates describe you as being caring, sweet, and thoughtful. Hi, my name is Jasmina Babar. I started here in second grade, and I've been here for four years. I've had a lot of great experiences, and I really want to thank all my elementary teachers for a great four years at Eastern Mennonite School. Some of my greatest memories have been just laughing, hanging out, and having fun with my friends here at school. I have really enjoyed my years in elementary school, and I have really loved fifth grade. I will always remember my years at EMES, and I will always be grateful for all the teachers and staff here at EMES, especially Ms. Gasho, who has made fifth grade awesome. Thank you for listening. Clarissa, you can come up. Clarissa, you came to EMES in first grade and made friends easily. You quickly became an important part of our school. You can see the humor in things and you make your friends laugh. You're curious and you think critically. Being able to question what is happening around you while holding on to what matters to you is a skill that comes easily. Your classmates describe you as being a good friend, nice, and creative. Take your mask off. Hi, I'm Clarissa Caridi, and I've been here since first grade. I've been here for five years. I've loved fifth grade. It's been my favorite year in elementary school. I love this elementary school for all the years I've been here, even though we've moved schools a lot. I really like dessert theater and the Wizard of Oz and all of our field trips that we've been on. I miss elementary school very much. I hope you enjoyed my speech. Shay, you are friendly, outgoing, and enthusiastic, bringing a contagious energy, energy to all you meet. You hold high expectations for yourself in all areas, and you strive to meet them. You are always one of the first students to raise your hand when I ask for help with anything. Your classmates describe you as being compassionate, competitive, and brave. Hi, my name is Shailen Klein, and I'm going to be telling you about my four years at Amy ES. I have been here since second grade, and I've had a great four years here. The teachers are amazing and caring all the time. I will miss my teachers when I'm excited to be a rising sixth grader. In second grade, my favorite time was making my Michelle Obama diorama. It was so fun. I had to do a bunch of research, and it was amazing. In third grade, my fa favorite thing was my first time going to Camp Horizons. It was really fun, and I had a great experience. In fourth grade, I loved the science activities we would do. Some of the things we did were glow were houses for glow-in-the-dark animals, and we also did a lot of robotics. Fifth grade, last but not least, my last year of elementary school, one of my favorite things was to camp out. It was so fun. I am proud to be a rising sixth grader. I will miss my teachers at EME, ES. Benjamin. You are funny and exuberant, sharing your fun-loving personality with everyone. You enjoy interacting with and entertaining your friends. Being willing to listen and understand other people's viewpoints is a strength of yours. I don't know how you remember all those facts about history. Your classmates describe you as being artistic, funny, and loyal. You can take your mask off and step on up on this Hi. My name is Benjamin Fletchell, and I have been here since this year, and I have loved it. I have enjoyed doing my inquiry project, camp out, the high ropes course, and Fab Friday. What I will take away from this year is that PE is the most competitive class. I will always remember how kind everyone here was. This has been my favorite year of elementary school, I, and I hope I like middle school as much as elementary school, and would like to thank Ms. Gasho and all the other special teachers I 
have loved my time here and excited for what next year will bring. Julia, you are a leader in music and in drama, and your gymnastic skills are impressive. You are dependable and responsible, and you also know how to have fun. When things are tough, you know when to take a break, and then you come back with determination to keep at it. Your classmates describe you as being optimistic, loving, and a hard worker. Hi, my name is Julia Holland. I have been at EMES since kindergarten. I have had a lot of fun times here. I loved making snacks in kindergarten and learning how to cook and bake. I really enjoyed learning how to read and spell in first grade, and I found our recycling projects really fun in second grade. Then there's third grade, also known as when COVID hit. It was a crazy year, but I loved getting on Zoom every morning and seeing all my friends' smiling faces. Fourth grade was also hectic with masking and social distancing, but I'm glad we could be in person. Fifth grade was so much fun because things started feeling more normal. This year, I really enjoyed dessert theater. Now I want to thank all my teachers, friends, and family for helping me get through the thick and thin. And despite the fact that I'm nervous for sixth grade, I am also very excited for a new year and to meet new people. Lucas, you are full of contagious energy. I love laughing with you. You have a great sense of humor and you make us smile with the way you love life. You are a great student and have brought much joy and fun to this school. We will all remember you as a student who can do a flip. Your classmates describe you as being energetic, funny, and considerate. Hi, EMES. My name is Lucas. I have been here since third grade. Before I went to a school named Spotswood Elementary School. It was fun, but I like EMES way more. Uh, so in third grade, I was scared to start a new school, but it was better than I thought. My favorite part in third grade was moving to a new building. In fourth grade, it was when we went to the safari park. And so my final year is fifth grade, and it was Camp Horizons. Thank you. Sabine, you are a quiet, steady support for everyone around you. You may not push yourself to the front of the crowd, but you are talented, sensitive, and know who you are. I loved watching you be silly with classmates at recess or getting lost in a good book. Your love for nature and reading is inspiring. Your classmates describe you as being peaceful, kind, and considerate. Hi, my name is Sabine Houston and I've been at EMES since kindergarten. I have really enjoyed these years of elementary school and I am excited and nervous for next year. The top three things that I have enjoyed are being in the Wizard of Oz, all the trips to Camp Horizons, and just having fun. Thank you to all the teachers for being so understanding, flexible, and persistent even throughout COVID. Maddie, you arrive each day with a smile. Your helpful and easygoing personality makes you a wonderful friend, and it's easy to see that people love being near you. You can get along with anyone, including others, and finding ways to make sure everyone feels good is a strength of yours. Your classmates describe you as being helpful, kind, and funny. Hi, my name is Maddie, and I have been going to going to EMES for five years. First grade was awesome. Miss Bailey was so nice. She helped me with spelling and reading. Second grade was good. I loved the freedom and projects we did. Third grade was fun. I loved hanging out with Anna. Having new kids in the class was awesome. They were so nice. Fourth grade was fun and sad because I knew that in fifth grade, Anna wouldn't be there. Other than that, fourth grade was awesome. It was so much fun to have a class pet. Fifth grade was a fun year, and I love that at the end of the year, it was all fun things and field trips. I love Camp Out. It was so fun. I would like to thank my family and my teachers for helping me learn and have fun. Good 
Delaney, you carry yourself with confidence and grace, radiating a peaceful joy. Your authenticity helps inspire others to be their own new unique selves and contributes to a classroom community where others feel a sense of belonging. I'm amazed by your groundedness, being able to hold hard things while continuing to laugh. Your classmates describe you as being artistic, thoughtful, and independent. Hi, my name is Delaney Kaufman. I have been at EMES since kindergarten. Thank you to all the people that helped me through my years of elementary school. My parents, teachers, peers, and everyone else that helped me throughout my years here. If I said all the things I wanted to say, you would get bored and tired and maybe a little grumpy. So I decided to focus on one year, the third grade with the beginning of COVID. People said we couldn't be in person, but no one said we couldn't be on Zoom. Ms. Byro did a great job with being online. I hope I have just as great of an experience in middle school and high school as I did in elementary school. Although elementary school is going to be pretty hard to beat. And I will treasure all my years here at EMES. Thank you for listening. Joel, you have a conscientious way of being with friends and teachers. Your choices are deliberate and your smile on the ready, both equally warm and caring. More recently, I was impressed with your expressive and dynamic performance on stage. You make a great Zeus. Keep a hold of your courage and your ability to stand up for what you believe to be right. Your classmates describe you as being funny, fair, and a good friend. Hi, my name is Joel. I have been here since kindergarten and enjoyed every minute of it. Before I start, I need to give a thank you to everyone who has helped me along the way. One of my favorite field trips was going to my dad's shop in kindergarten. We built a cabinet and we cut out saws made of wood. Camp out in fourth and fifth grade was so fun. We played sardines and flashlight tag. When I came to school, I was at the old campus next to Cornerstone. Then we moved to the high school building and then to the building we are in now. One thing I really enjoy is the positive and fun environment with so many amazing people. I will really miss elementary school and all the people who have helped me along the way. Goodbye. Eliza, your friendly personality is a joy to be around. You know how to have fun and be silly, but can also have a good, deep conversation when those are necessary. These two sides of you balance each other well. I admire your perseverance in finding solutions to problems and trying to help everyone until it feels okay. Your classmates describe you as being curious, understanding, and trustworthy. Hi, my name is Eliza Long. I've been at EMES since fourth grade. Something that has always stood out to me about EMES is that everybody's really encouraging. I remember my first day here. I walked into the room feeling really nervous. Then I saw Charlotte. Charlotte waved at me and made me feel included. I've never really known much about myself, but when I came to EMES, I finally knew. I knew that I was creative, colorful, artistic, and curious. And the way I found to use those is through acting. I love acting. I found that out from being a lullaby league munchkin, an Aussie, a Greek goddess, and many different dancing animals. Something I'll take with me is that no matter what, you are you. No one's perfect, but you're perfect at being you. I would also like to thank everybody who has been with me these last few years, and especially Ms. Gosho and Ms. Gibbs for being the best teachers ever. Brady. You are thoughtful, competitive, and enthusiastic. You demonstrate excellent sportsmanship, especially during PE. You are encouraging of your team teammates while also celebrating when an opponent makes a great play. You have a good balance of knowing when the score matters and when it's just a game. I've also seen you to be incredibly trustworthy with a solid sense of who you are and how to care for others. Your classmates describe you as being kind, thoughtful, and funny. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Brady Mast, and I've been at EMES since third grade. Before that, I was homeschooled. I was really scared when I first came to EMES. I want to say thanks to everyone who was kind, thoughtful, and welcoming. Also, thank you, teachers, for making even the worst lessons fun. <laughs> Third grade was amazing. I was always looking forward to PE. In March 2020, COVID ended my year early. Fourth grade was a mix of emotions. Everyone was having friendships, drama. The hardest part was watching my friends fight and not being able to help. I loved to camp out at the end of the year. Finally, fifth grade was the best year. Miss Gosho is an amazing teacher. Fifth grade has so many good memories. My favorite memories are playing a class game and camp out. Thank you to all the teachers and students, and thank you for listening. Quinn, you have a quiet strength that can move mountains. You are a leader in the classroom, and your kind, gentle nature is a great model for those around you. Performing on stage, tackling tough school assignments, and, and making sure your classmates feel included are some of your strengths. Your classmates describe you as being friendly, trustworthy, and empathetic. Hi, my name is Quinn McKee. I came to EMES in fourth grade. I remember when I first came to the school, I was very nervous, but everyone was so kind and made me feel much better. Thank you so much, Ms. Gibbs, for being such a great teacher. Elementary school is great, but I'm excited for sixth grade. I've enjoyed the camp out at Camp Horizons, afternoon tea, sharing tables, dessert theater, and fabulous Fridays. All of the teachers here are so kind. They are welcoming, cheerful, friendly, smart, and much more. I've learned I really enjoy acting. I did my very first musical this year, The Wizard of Oz. It was so much fun. Ms. Gasho is an awesome is an awesome teacher. She is funny, smart, kind, and helpful. I'm going to miss everyone so much here, but I'm looking forward to sixth grade. Noah, you have an inquisitive nature, asking questions until something makes sense. You are enthusiastic and joyful in your learning and play, finding every opportunity to live life to the fullest. There is laughter wherever you go. You create an environment that brings people in. Your classmates describe you as being funny, energetic, and entertaining. Hi, my name is Noah, and I have gone to EMS for six years. They have been the best six years of my life. Some of my favorite subjects are math, reading, and PE. I want to thank all my friends and teachers for making school so fun. One of my favorite things that we did was camp out. Thank you to Ms. Gosho for making fifth grade so fun. The past couple of years have been hard because of COVID. Kindergarten was fun because we went on so many field trips. Third grade was hard because we had to go in lockdown. Elementary school has been so fun, but I am very excited for middle school. Goodbye. Charlotte, you are a compassionate listener and friend, always ready to take initiative when you hear a community need and work to make things right. Your reliability and gentle leadership will serve you well. Dependable and trustworthy teachers and friends can count on you. Your classmates describe you as being kind, encouraging, and persistent. Hi. My name is Charlotte Simmons. I've been going to EMES for two and a half years. In third grade, I came in the middle of the year. I transferred from Stewart Hall Ele Elementary School. Ms. Byler was very welcoming. Then the school shut down for lockdown. I still had a good time being on Zoom. In the third grade, I remember doing my birthday circle on Zoom. My mom would also help me organize my schoolwork. In fourth grade, we had Ms. Merity and Ms. Gibbs. Ms. Merity was a great teacher for half of the year. Ms. Gibbs also was a great teacher. She was so nice and she challenged me. I loved doing cool science experiments in fifth and fourth grade. In fifth grade, Ms. Gosho has been a great teacher. Ms. Gosho understands people's needs. When the class was feeling tired, she always told us something encouraging. All of the teachers that I've had at EMES have been great. I'm going to miss elementary school, but middle school sounds fun. 
Thank you faculty and staff for making EUMES great. Mary, you show confidence as you share your thoughts and ideas and complete your work with diligence and care. You are honest and responsible. I'm amazed by your work ethic, not only holding high standards for yourself, but inspiring those around you to do their best. Your classmates describe you as being energetic, perseverant, and considerate. Hi, my name is Mary Simmons. I've been going to EMES for two and a half years now. I came here in the middle of third grade. When I got here, Ms. Byler's welcoming smile and bright personality welcomed me to the classroom. But I wasn't in Ms. Byler's classroom for long. That's when COVID started. It had only been, I had only been at the school for two, and a, two months and then everything changed. In fourth grade, Ms. Gibbs wasn't there for half the year, so we had Ms. Meredy. We had to be masked all year, but I was thankful to be back at school. Ms. Gibbs was a great teacher, and I was happy she came. This year was my last year in elementary school. I enjoyed fifth grade and loved all the fun activities. I enjoyed having Ms. Gasho as a teacher. She is very kind and supportive. Thanks for being a good teacher. I had a good two and a half years at EMES. Thanks to all teachers and faculty. Caleb, your helpfulness is a practical and useful gift that makes a difference for our whole school community. You care about our school's recycling efforts, show independence, consistency, and reliability. You are helpful and observant, noticing the world around you and what might need to be done. You have a soft heart and an open mind. Your classmates describe you as being helpful, funny, and energetic. Hi, my name is Caleb. I've been at EMES for six years and I've had a lot of fun at elementary school. Like in kindergarten, going to Joel's dad's shop, in first grade, inquiry night, in second grade, canoeing at Lake Shenandoah, in third grade, getting a new building, in fourth grade, the, going to the safari park, in fifth grade, going to Camp Horizons. I hope you enjoyed my speech. Judah, you take time to consider options when making a decision. One area that stands out is in library. You always make a thoughtful decision about which book to check out. You know what you like and what you don't like. You are your own person, which is an excellent quality. Your classmates describe you as being hardworking, compassionate, and thoughtful. Hi, my name is Julia. I have been here since kindergarten. I also had two years of kindergarten. And kindergarten was my favorite year, and it was easy, and we went on a lot of field trips. Fifth grade was the hardest year in elementary school, but my friends, my teachers helped me through the school year. And the most fun part of the year was camp, camp out. And I hope all of you enjoy elementary school as much as I did. I also hope that I enjoy middle school for the years to come. Wow, thank you fifth graders for being brave enough to speak to us this morning and saying so many kind things. It has been amazing to watch you mature over the years. Uh, many of you I remember in kindergarten and some of you came later, but it's fun to watch those you change and become into the people that you are today. You should be very proud and please remember, although you're leaving EMES, you've made your mark on our school and you will not be forgotten. We thank you for the memories you helped to create here at EMES. And now I will call on Kara and Tyler Kaufman, parents of Delaney, to share our scripture this morning. Thank you. 
from Matthew 5, 13 through 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people put it on, put it on, Wait, neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And now we get a little chance to stretch our legs. We're going to sing together. I would have called on Ms. Byler to lead us in this song, but she woke up not feeling well this morning, so I'm going to lead our song, uh, Unity, or as we know it, Jesus Help Us Live in Peace. It's become a theme song for our school since the very first year in 2005. And so we invite you to sing with us. The words are on the back of your program, and students will sing as well, and uh, hope you enjoy doing this with us. You all may stand. Jesus, help us live in peace. From our blindness, set us free. Fills us with your healing love. Help us live. Thank you. You may be seated. Now is the time to hand out certificates to our fifth graders. Before we do that, I just wanted to mention that we will be handing out two certificates today. One is a certificate of graduation from elementary school, and the other um, certificate mentions a specific strength that we see in each fifth grader. You've already heard a lot of those things this morning, and so this certificate will also uh, give one attribute that we have noticed about the student over the years. We are calling these gifts of character. Our K-8 through counselor, Ginny Trotter, um, has named them these, and we love that way of phrasing it, gifts of character. And we believe that all students can learn to develop their own strengths and gifts. And as a school, we want to give them time and state space to practice them. So I'm going to call each student's name and give them their gift of character. And then they will also get their certificates. And Ms. Gosha will hand those to them. And let's wait to clap until the very end. J. 
Jasmina Babar. Listening for understanding and empathy. She can put herself in someone else's shoes and walk with them. Clarissa Carini, creative and flexible thinking. She is able to envision new ideas that others haven't thought of before. Shailen Klein, persistence and commitment. She sticks with something even if it is difficult and can envision the end result. Benjamin Fletchall, comprehension and understanding. He uses previous knowledge to make new connections with what he learns. Julia Holland, caring and compassion. She gives tender attention to the people and the things that matter to her, listening with compassion, helping with kindness. Lucas Hurst, tolerance. He is open to differences, refrains from judgments, being forgiving with others and himself. He accepts things that he wishes were different with humor and grace. Sabine Houston, understanding. She is insightful in her perceptions of ideas and feelings. She listens with compassion and accuracy to others' feelings. Maddie Ignash, intuitive thinking. She is aware of a group's dynamics. She looks for ways to support others and to help solve disagreements. Delaney Kaufman, confident sense of self. She knows who she is, and she makes others feel valued. Joel Lantz, thinking before acting. He has a strong sense of right and wrong, understands social situations, and makes positive choices. Eliza Long. Sense of practicality. She understands the facts about a situation, can articulate the problem, and can plan with confidence and enthusiasm. Brady Mast. Managing relationships with care and compassion. He gets along well with all of his peers and is welcoming to friends from other grades. Quinn McKee, honesty and integrity. She is honest about her feelings and is quick to forgive and easily recognizes the gifts of others. Noah Olson Getty, joyfulness. He has an inner wellspring of peace and happiness, enjoying the richness of life, finding humor even in the midst of hard times. Charlotte Simmons, effective communication. She has a strong stage presence and can effectively convey a message to an audience. Mary Simmons, commitment and dedication. She cares deeply about others and her own goals. She has a willingness to give her all and keep her promises. Caleb Williams, helpfulness. He enjoys completing tasks that made a difference to others. He takes time for thoughtfulness. Judah Yoder, artistic thinking. He uses his imagination to create beauty, to communicate humor, 
and to express his opinion. Congratulations, fifth graders. And now we will take a moment to watch a slideshow of the school year. All the students, you should see some memories up here, and hopefully you'll find yourself a few times as well. So we'll just stay on stage. We can watch the, um, the screen ahead of us, and the rest will see it on the screen. So enjoy.
Before we have our benediction, I want to make a, just a few announcements. Fifth graders, don't forget to take your certificates with you and your speeches. And there also is a gift for you out front. You probably saw it in the auditorium foyer. It's um, a glass plaque that says, Jesus, help us live in peace. And after the benediction, the graduates will process out this um, aisle here. And they're going to go out into the foyer. And after that, fourth graders will follow. And you can go out the same door and third grade and on. And then after all the students are out, then parents and families, you can process out as well. There is a reception in the auditorium foyer for families of fifth graders and siblings. And so there's cake in the, in the foyer and then there's drink outside. Um, if you want to stay and mingle, it's probably best to do that outside and not in the foyer. So I will now ask you to stand, and I will call on Gwen and Doug Lantz to lead us in the benediction. Let's pray. God of our past, present, and future, Today we are grateful for these fifth graders and their time at EMES. Give us wisdom as we look back. Help us to see your work in each child's life through the expected changes and the unexpected events, big and small. Thank you for your presence with us as we have learned together. Give us peace today. Open our eyes to see your wonderful gifts, the joy of growing up, the beauty of celebrating together today. Thank you, God. Help us to place the future in your loving care. We are thankful for the possibilities of summer fun, and we are hopeful for new learning next year. As we leave here, we gratefully place all our time, past, present, and future, in your hands, and go knowing your unfailing love goes with us. Amen. <laughs>